Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Community with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from 1 John 5 and verse 4. But on this week, we are discussing the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith faith, all right? And as we shared on Monday, we all have a work, a purpose, a calling, an assignment in the earth to carry out, my God, while we're down here, my Lord. But we live by our faith, all right? It is your faith that determines your course of life and your quality of life. It is your faith, not your color, not your sex, not your education, or your associations, that's going to determine your quality of life, all right? We was created to live and conduct our lives by our faith, all right? You are currently living by your faith. Again, whether, whether you feel like it's good or bad, whether you like it or you don't, my God, you are currently living by your own faith, okay? So let's read 1 John 5 and verse 4. It says, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Message translation says, the conquering power that brings the world to its knees is our faith, okay? Your faith is your victory. Trials and tribulations they come to every household, my Lord, every household. No household is, is exempt, my God. Trials or tribulations come to every household, but it is your faith that gives you the victory over them all. Faith is your conquering power, okay? It empowers you to overcome the world and anything this world will throw at you and your household, okay? Jesus never told us we weren't going to go through anything. But he did tell us that in the world you shall have tribulations, my Lord. But then he comes back and says, but be of good cheer. I've already heard it. Overcome the world for you, okay? Jesus has overcome the world for us. And it is our faith in Christ that empowers us to overcome everything this world brings to us, okay? It is your faith that causes you to have victory. Faith is your victory. This is the victory, the overcome of the world, even our faith, all right? So as we've been encouraging everyone, hey, strengthen your faith, feed your faith. My God, you need your faith to be strong right now because there are some things coming and there are some things that have come, my Lord, that the only way you're going to overcome it is through your faith, amen? Amen, my Lord. This is your victory, all right? So let's go to take communion this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. We thank you for this, another opportunity you've given unto us to come before your table, to commune with you and with one another. And for that, we say thank you, Father. We take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, everything you've done, everything you're doing was for us. You was made sin for us, that we might be made the righteousness of God. You bore all of our sicknesses, carried all of our diseases, the chastisement for our peace. Our complete wholeness was upon you, and with and by your stripes we were healed. Therefore, we are healed, and I decree we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. We thank you for it, Lord Jesus. We do this in remembrance of you, discerning your body right now. We take the bread, we eat all of it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We take the cup, the cup of the blessing, the blood of Jesus. Because of your blood, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless, the righteousness of God, without fault, without blame, in love, all of our sins, past, present, future sins forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again, never to be discussed again. For that, we say thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for your blood this morning. We take the cup, we drink all of it. Mm. Saying thank you, Lord. Absolutely. Thank you, Jesus. So again, 
trials and tribulations come to every household. But it is your faith that's going to guarantee you victory over them all. This is the victory that overcome of this world. It's even your faith. It's your faith. The enemy will try to get you to try to live off other things, live off of other systems and, and focus on other people and all these different things. But it's your faith that's going to bring you the victory. It's your faith that causes you to overcome. And it's your faith that is the conquering power. Amen? Amen. Bless God. So let's go ahead and get our faith of confession on this morning. The favor of God is in me, on me, and goes before me. The favor of God surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be a full manifestation in my life on today. The favor of God produces for me supernatural increase, promotions, restoration, honor, increased assets, greater victories, recognition, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies changed, and battles won in which I don't have to fight. This is God's set time to favor me, and this is God's set time to favor you. Amen? Amen. I encourage you as always, believe that and receive it. My God, you're walking in the favor of God on this morning. Amen? Amen. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you. Father, we thank you for this new day and all you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace right now upon every household, Father. I thank you that every need of every household is made in full with abundance and more than enough, Father. I thank you, Father, right now for all those who need healing, who need help, who need strength in their bodies. I thank you, Father, to the Lord our God to heal of us, and I thank you that you have healed them all, Father. And we speak peace, peace, Father, to every family, every household right now, in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. We love you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Everyday Communion. And we pray each of you have a great day on today, full of God's favor and blessing. Amen. Amen. Love you guys. Have a good one.